Hi, this is a, a video on how you're going to log on to the school's version of Moodle. Uh, remember, Moodle is the place where we go to find all our lesson plans and anything to do with lessons. So, with no more ado, I'll start us off. So before we continue, uh, I just wanted to remind you that uh, you're going to need your student number. Now this is located on your ID badge or you might find it on your intro pack which was a kind of A5 piece of paper that uh, has both your email and your yeah, university password in it. So uh, just look that up before you start. Now we're going to go through uh, the usual channels of loading up Moodle and the way that I'd like to try and get you used to is to uh, work using the University of Wales Quick Links patch. So I'm going to show you how to do that in the next slide. So as you can see here, yet again I've loaded up the University of Wales website uh, and at the top right hand corner you see where I'm circulating the mouse is the news and then followed by the Quick Links. So I'm going to click on the, click link, the quick links now. So after a second or so, you'll see this screen arrive, uh, and this is the quick links page. Uh, the next thing I'd like you to click is the University Student Hub, which is this button here that I'm highlighting and making grow large and small for you. Just click it on so that you can see the student access to it rather than my staff access. Uh, now, when you look at this page, you're going to see all of the digital stuff that is available to you at the school. Um, and we will always use that same mechanism to get through the, uh, uh, the various systems that the school have on offer for you. Now, of course, we are going to load up Moodle. And I'm going to circulate around here, which is the mouse. It's the big letter M that's kind of wearing one of those teacher type hats that uh, you get when you graduate. So if I click on that now and wait a second or two, it's going to take me to the Moodle logon page. Now the thing about the Moodle logon page is that uh, you're going to have to type in your username and your password. Now I know I've mentioned in previous videos that uh, your username is usually your email for some bonkers reason, uh, you've got to use just your student number to uh, log on to the uh, the Moodle. So in my case, I don't have to do that. I type in my name. My name is P. Ransom, but you would type in here whatever your student number is. And uh, once you've done that, I then want you to type in in this box here uh, your university uh, password. Now again, I can't read this out loud because frankly everyone's password is different, uh, but you'll find that located on the, uh, the A5 piece of paper in your introduction pack. So I'm going to type this away, in fact it's remembered it for me, and I'm going to click on login. I'm going to wait a couple of seconds. And you're going to get greeted by a screen that's something similar to the one that I'm scrolling through now. Now, in your case, it's going to be a little bit different uh, because uh, you know you you don't see all of the courses that uh, I'm having to teach. So um, the course that I want you to start off by looking at is my course, which is the digital skills. And a quick way I do that is to go up to this area here. Again, I'm moving the mouse and the, towards the top left hand side of the screen here and you'll see the word My Modules. I'm going to click on the little triangle that's right next to that and after a moment or two you'll get a, a list of all the modules that you're currently signed up to. Now you're going to scroll down to the Digital Skills and Research Methods uh, which in my case is serial number BMSK 4003-Birmingham or Berm. Uh, slide it down and make sure that it's highlighted and then with the left mouse button I want you to click on it. Uh, 
after a while it's sort of going to, go to load up for you and you should see my smiling face hiding behind a cup of coffee now if you scroll up and down as I'm doing now you'll get to see all of the lessons that are going to be made available to you over the next few weeks now I'm going to talk about these in a little bit more detail but the one that I want to bring your attention to straight away is the one called module introduction it's kind of got a picture of a cat on it that's there for a reason but uh, I'll explain that to you later so if you move your mouse now to that area and then you click on the, uh, the, the text or the picture of the cat itself and you should get the introduction to the digital skills lesson that I'm about to deliver to you.